In this section we'll look at um, a number of uh, tools that can be found in the create menu. So we'll look at lathe object and how to create a lathe uh, polygon object, uh, extrusion object and how to do a path extrusion. So we'll start off with the first one which is lathe object. And what we'll do is switch to uh, top view like so and to create a lathe object we need to have an edge that will uh, revolve around a center point so with the edge tool <coughs> we'll start to create a shape and we're looking to do something like a uh, a large caliber gun of some sort so like a rocket launcher of some type um, so I'm just defining some very basic shapes that will be the profile of the gun moving around using the tools just thinking about what the sort of shape that I'd want down the back end of the the weapon some random shapes really nothing scientific about any of this at this stage Now we'll end it there without going back onto this center line. I just want to move a couple of them around where they've uh, not met what I expected or I've put them in the wrong place. So just tweaking the points around as we do with a full on polygon model. Perhaps move those two out a little bit like so. Okay, I'm fine with that now. Now we want to revolve it around this center axis here. So if we go to object mode, we see that if we take the pivot point here, if we were to revolve it, it would revolve around that point, which would really mess the mesh up. So we can, there's a number of ways to move this, but the best one is just keyboard M and move the actual pivot point yourself. And keyboard M back again. Okay, so if we go back to the perspective mode, and select the object again and then we go up to the create menu and lathe object and then options so we'll set the total sections that will revolve around to um, we'll go a bit higher than 12 so we'll go 16 360 degrees will give us a full revolved object a merge tolerance that will bring the two edges of the uh, revolved uh, the lathe object together. We'll leave that one. We'll set it on local X, which is right. So you've got lots of options, world or local. So for this one, we're going down the Z axis, and we uh, will use the world center, which is fine. And then hit create, and there you have um, some form of a weapon. Don't quite know what you would call it, but we'll call it a gun if you want to duplicate it there just using control C control V there you can see we've made what a nice weapon of some description with very very simple steps you've still got your um, edge there which you can save for later and you could obviously use that, you could amend that edge if you wanted to change the shape of the gun or, or um, anything that you've created um, in terms of if you think the back end's too big then you just drag in these uh, points nearer to the centre um, and adjust it as needed. You just subdivide the gun if you want to have a look at it smooth, although it looks more like a, a stair handle when it's a uh, stair, staircase when it's smooth. Okay, so that covers off how to lathe an object, and you can use that um, for lots of different things, um, cups and anything that's uh, lathed really, so do it vertically, do it horizontally, however you, you see the need really. So we'll just remove all of those. Now we'll go on to, uh, to extrude. Let's go back to top again, and we'll create, um, we'll just create a polygon. 
one that we can use for the next two portions. So just quickly create something like so. And actually, for this edge, thinking about it, I'll let for this uh, portion. I'll just use the edge rather than the 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 full polygon. And we'll save the polygon for later. So if we take um, this selected edge that we've got and we call up our extrusion object options and if we want to extrude this uh, vertically we could just use keyboard Z and, and extrude it up. What we can do instead is to use um, the extrude options here. So if we set the height to say 6 sections to 15, we'll do it along world Y which is vertically into the world and hit create and there you have those options transferred into a 3D model. So it's that polygon shape, extrude the edge all the way up using 15 sections and a height of 6 which is 6 grids, 6 grid squares. Okay, not a tool I use personally a lot because um, I'm very comfortable with just using the uh, the extrude tool, the normal Z extrude, as you the, the one that um, you've seen using a lot of the other videos. Okay, let's just go back to where we were. Okay, so the next one we're going to look at is. Um, shut down our options is uh, is path extrusion object so we've got an object which is the polygon we've been using um, and what we're going to do now is run a path that will extrude this along so if we switch to the front view I'm using spacebar there to switch through the the different screens and if we just go to create and we'll use edge tool and we'll just create we're going to create sort of a tentacle affair um oh, lost it there. Let's go back to that one. Just come around here and just do a curl in like so. Let's make sure that that was all joined up by hitting C. Okay, so if we bring that object so it intersects the edge like so. So you can see now that that intersects down inside it. And if we select first of all the polygon, then the path that we want to extrude it along, and go to create path extrusion object, look at the options. We'll cap the ends. Um, I've set the scale there already to 0 0.01, so that means that it will be it will get smaller and smaller until it gets to 0.1 of its 0 0.01 of its original size down here, which will mean it'll be this size um, for the starting point, and it will go down and down until it reaches 0.1. We'll put um, zero rotation there, so we don't want to rotate around the axis for now. So we'll just create that object by hitting create, and there, as you can see, we've made. A nice tentacle object. If we subdivided that a couple of times and refine the control mesh, you can see we've got a, a really nice tentacle effect with very, very few kick, uh, keyboard commands. The edge is still there and the original polygon is still there. So, should you need to do any kind of tweaking, um, so one thing you can do is instead of having a, a flat plane like this, if I was to use, um, let's just call up our buttons. Uh, let's use soft selection, say, and or normal selection would do it. And we'll just move these around. Do it by hand. And if you were to extrude again, 
put the polygon intersecting select the edge again and this time we'll do um, 0 0.5 so we won't shrink it that much and we'll put a rotation in it of it's obviously multiples of um, 360 360 being a full rotation so if you want to rotate it 10 times from the start to the end um, we've put uh, 3600 in and create that and then you can see it's gone a bit extreme just show you one again with um, Just do 720, make it less extreme. There you go. Just a couple of twists in it. And you can see the difference that's made straight away. And again, you've still got your path here still there. And the original object is still there. It's great for tree trunks. It's great for tentacles. It's great for lots of um, both organic and mechanical really um, depending on how you set the parameters in the extrude path so there you go three really powerful tools for creating objects um, all found in the uh, create menu